Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And you'll have to excuse me, I'm suffering from a little bit of bronchitis. If I cough a little bit during the video, I, uh, that's what's going on. But anyway, I want to go over rubbing alcohol today and the elimination of bed bugs. Now, I don't know if I've done a video. I actually think I did do a video on this before about, it may have been a live stream on homes that had been burned down in, in Ohio a couple years ago. Uh, due to using rubbing alcohol. Now, I understand that bed bugs cause a lot of grievances. They bite you, they chew you, you're asleep when you're most vulnerable. You can't even fend them off because, like I said, most of the time you're asleep and they're biting you in your sleep. You wake up in the morning, you've got three, four, five new bites every day. I know that they are very irritating, but there are some things that I deem as extreme ways to eliminate bed bugs. Now, <coughs> there's a cough I was telling you about. Um, I want to say right now that if you're new to the channel, think about liking my videos, think about subscribing to my videos, think about hitting the thumbs up, so uh, or the bell, the notification bell, or whatever. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm new to this. <laughs> uh, so you can get my uh, videos every day, you know, the ones I release. I do live streams every so often for people so you can come on and actually ask me questions. I, uh, I have books and stuff that I've written to try to help you eliminate bed bugs and roaches and fleas and stuff like that on your own. And so if you subscribe to the channel, you can learn all this stuff. Um, and so I try to, I try to give information for people, uh, everybody, every wake of life, you know, I know a lot of low income housing, uh, families use my channel to try to eliminate their problems. Um, and so, hopefully, that's what I'm doing. So, let's talk about alcohol. Now, the reason rubbing alcohol is something that people use to eliminate bed bugs is because it's cheap. You could buy it at Walmart for a couple bucks a bottle, and you put it in a spray bottle, you spray it around, and it kills bed bugs. Or at least that's what people will have you believe. The problem with rubbing alcohol, the reason you do not want to use it, especially if you're a smoker, is alcohol... <laughs> when alcohol evaporates, it creates a explosive fume. So if you've ever seen the heat that comes off of like pavement, like blacktop or something, you'll know that you can see it actually rising up off of the surface. Um, that's the heat transfer. Now, alcohol, you could imagine that alcohol kind of does the same thing. As it evaporates, it does a it, it puts alcohol into the air. So it becomes, it makes the air space near the alcohol explosive to sparks. And so uh, a couple people back a couple years ago actually burned their houses down trying to eliminate bed bugs using alcohol because it ignited the fumes and the house burned down. So this is something that is very dangerous. Now, if you can't afford a bed bug treatment, you absolutely cannot afford to rebuild your home, okay, or buy a new bed or buy a new, you know, whatever that catches on fire because you're trying to eliminate uh, bed bugs. So let's assume you're not a smoker. Let's assume that you're not, you're instead of, well, that doesn't apply to me because I don't smoke. I don't have open flame. I don't burn candles. I don't, I don't do any of this stuff in my bedroom where I sleep. So I don't have to worry. It's not for me. I'm going to buy alcohol. I'm going to use it anyway. All right, fine. Let me explain to you why alcohol is not an option uh, typically ever. Um, bed bugs lay eggs. All right, the eggs hatch in seven to ten days. Now, alcohol will kill the eggs. The alcohol will break down the egg casings. Alcohol will kill the adults. Alcohol will kill the nymphs. Alcohol kills every stage of bed bugs if you spray it directly on them and get it on them. That being said, alcohol evaporates within a few hours. If you take a bottle of rubbing alcohol and you sit it on your counter overnight and you leave the lid off, put a little marker on it and mark where the level was, you may lose two, three, four ounces, you may lose half of a bottle overnight, depending on the temperatures in your home. So understand, it evaporates really fast, which means there is no residue on your bed to kill bed bugs over time. 
the problem with bed bugs is they don't just lay their eggs on your bed. They lay their eggs in the cracks and crevices. Like you see how my bed, it's got this like this little piece of metal trim here. They can lay under that trim. I've actually found them on stuff like this up inside that thing. Uh, all up, and this is a whole metal, like it, it goes all the way around the headboard. So they can actually get up in this part right here that you can't even get any spray into that spot. Um, and so what you do is you treat in these little grooves with a residual pesticide like Crossfire. And then when the bugs crawl out to bite you at night, they have to crawl through a barrier pesticide that's there that will kill them. And alcohol is not a barrier. So because it evaporates, if you spray alcohol along that crack, well, yeah, that'll work great for the bed bugs that are there right then when you spray. But in a couple hours, maybe even less, maybe even 30, 45 minutes, there's no alcohol there left. So then at night, at two o'clock in the morning, when bed bugs come out to bite you, they crawl right out. There's, there's nothing there anymore. There's no alcohol there anymore. So they just crawl right out and bite you. Um, the eggs, sometimes the eggs are laid in the walls. All right, so bed bugs, this is something a lot of people don't know about bed bugs, is bed bugs have a very hostile breeding cycle. So when they mate, the I'm not, I'm not going to go into too many specifics. You can do this on Google. I try to keep it as G-rated as I can. But it's a very hostile. And if the female mates more than like twice her lifetime, she could die. A lot of times the females will actually flee the bed. They will get off of the bed. They'll go in the wall. They'll go up behind your baseboards. They'll go uh, around light sockets, outlet covers. Um, they'll go behind trim, molding like what's around doors and stuff and windows. <coughs> and they lay their eggs there. All right, so now the eggs are hidden away from the bed. You go over your whole bed with alcohol. You kill everything that's on the bed. That's great. But in a week to 10 days, when the eggs hatch, the babies come out. They don't come out right away either. So what happens with the babies is they hatch. The eggs hatch week to 10 days. The babies do not need a blood meal when they first. They, they're not like, let's hatch out of this egg. Let's bite that person today. That is not what bed bugs do. The babies wait another week to 10 days. And when they feed, they feed on the blood to shed their skin. So in a week to 10 days... A bed bug gets to the size where they need to shed their skin. They engorge on blood. They get all big and fat, and the skin pops off, and they're able to slide out of their skin like a snake. And so then they wait another week to 10 days. This is what's called an instar. So an instar, a bug that has instars, roaches, uh, <coughs> let's see, roaches, bed bugs, stink bugs, uh, they, they shed their skin throughout their life cycle. So, because a bed bug has five instars, they shed their skin five times. They only engorge on blood when they're ready to shed their skin. Now, when they become adults, and they've said their final shedding, they've molted it for the last time, then they can come through and bite you one day. They can bite you two, every two days, every one day, whatever. And every time they bite you, they use that blood in order to lay eggs. Now, the females do need to bite. They do need to get blood meals and stuff every so often in order to continue to lay eggs. So they will venture back over to the bed eventually. But the eggs now are laid away from the bed. So <clears throat> if you kill all the bed bugs on your bed, you haven't killed all your bed bugs because there are still bed bugs in your room. A lot of people will tell me that I went and bought this at this store. I used this from that store, and it was really good for about two or three weeks, and then all of a sudden I got bed bugs again. Where are they coming from? Well, the, the answer is that you have actually never really truly got rid of your bed bug problem. I know people that use alcohol every single day. Um, if you go back through my channel, the very worst bed bug job I ever did, the guy was waking up every two hours spraying himself with rubbing alcohol to keep the bugs off of his body. He had to wake up every two hours because the alcohol wasn't effective for more than a few minutes. <clears throat> so he was he was miserable. He wasn't getting any sleep at all. He had bed bugs everywhere because that's all he was doing to eliminate them because he watched a YouTube video that told him that rubbing alcohol was the answer. And rubbing alcohol is never the answer. It's cheap. 
But if you can't afford pesticides, you can't afford to blow your money either. And the problem is, is that people see these videos on YouTube about you can get rid of bed bugs cheap. Do this. You can get rid. I got rid of bed bugs in my home. Cheap. Do this. They're lying to you. It's not true. They are liars. They are just trying to get you to click a clickbait video. I know what clickbait is. I've clickbaited some of my videos just to get people to watch them to understand the truth about what they're dealing with. And so <laughs> understand that YouTube is a platform where people come in and they try to make money and they're trying to take advantage of you and make you click their videos So because you're frustrated and you just want to get rid of your bugs. And I understand that it's difficult, but it's not if you know the right tools. I've got links below and instructions below on how to use the chemicals and everything that I use. I never, ever recommend anything that I don't use myself. Um, I use Crossfire to eliminate bed bugs. It's labeled for mattresses. You can use it directly on the bed. I use it on the headboards. I use it on the footboards. I use it on the bed rails. I use it everywhere. And I kill bed bugs every day. In fact, over 80% of the bed bug work I do, I kill the bed bugs with just one treatment. I have people that tell me, they call me, they call me on my work phone. Now, I can't always take out-of-state calls on my work phone. I do the best I can, but honestly, I'm very, very busy, and I don't have a lot of time to take calls. But either way, I have people that call me. They leave me voicemails. They thank me. They say things like, I've been bitten by bed bugs for over a year and I bought Crossfire and I used it and I haven't had been bitten in like three weeks. And it's the most relief they've had in two years. So if you can do it yourself without a professional, there are people that are doing it all over the world because of my videos and because of my help. Understand you can do it too. It's not a losing battle. You don't have to resort to putting diatomaceous earth powder everywhere and making yourself miserable with rubbing alcohol. You know, or if even people are going to the extreme of putting bleach right on their bed and then laying in that, and those are toxic fumes. You know, you don't have to to do this. You could get rid of the bed bugs. You do not have to live with them. I understand that crossfire for most people that are watching this video for low-income housing, it seems rather expensive, but it's a lot more expensive to call in a professional to try to get rid of your problem or having to deal with a shitty landlord, excuse my language, but sometimes that's just the way it is. It's better to just bite the bullet, save up a few bucks, and, you know, don't, don't, do this this month. You know, don't go here this month. Don't watch the movies. Don't do the Netflix. Don't do something so you can save up a few dollars, just a few, to buy some Crossfire and do it right. So hopefully this video has helped you guys. Hopefully it's explained a little bit about rubbing alcohol and why you don't want to use it. Oh, also, I've been releasing my book chapter by chapter on my YouTube channel. I'm actually going to, after I do this video, I'm going to get on and I'm going to make another video about fleas. So if you're interested in that, think about liking my channel. Think about subscribing to my videos. Uh, share them around Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all different places. All platforms really helps the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Y'all have a real great day and I will see you in 2020. Thanks.